Uh, Decatur mother says her kindergartner was missing for some time before school officials determined that he had somehow, some way, made it onto a bus to a day camp. Elwin Lopez is following the story for us. Elwin, you spoke to the mother who wants to know how this happens, how they had no sense of where this this student was. Yeah, that's right, Jeff. And that's what she wants to figure out. She doesn't know how her son made it onto that bus yet. Kenyatta Obi says that she was in the carpool lane to pick up her five-year-old son, as she typically does. But one day last week, he wasn't there. I immediately thought the worst. I thought maybe somebody had taken him or maybe possibly been hit by a car since it's on a busy street. Kenyatta Obi says she dropped her kindergartner off at Winona Park Elementary School Monday morning of last week. But when she went to pick him up that afternoon, to her surprise, he wasn't there. When I saw everybody pull out their radios, I assumed he was missing. Nobody was in a panic. I felt like the only person that was in a panic was me. Obi says teachers and staff members joined her in looking for her son throughout the school, but she claims more than an hour went by before he was found. When they finally searched the cameras, they see him getting on the bus. Where was the supervision? Why was he even able to get on the bus? A bus the city of schools Decatur says belongs to an after school provider. He would have never got on the bus if he wasn't told to. Now, Obi says she feels more could have been done and tells me her son will not be going back to Winona Park Elementary. I don't feel like it was an emergency for them. The doors were still wide open while we were looking for him. The school day was still going on as if it was a regular day. My fear is just dropping him off and his safety isn't being assured. The city of schools Decatur said in part, quote, the school is reviewing internal dismissal protocols to determine what happened and how this can be avoided in the future. The school has also spoken to the after school provider about improving their processes and implementing daily roster verification. And the city of schools Decatur also says the provider drove away from the school without verifying whether the student was a registered attendee of this program, which Obi says he wasn't. We've also reached out to the day camp scene who told me over the phone that for over a decade, school officials have been responsible for loading students into those buses. All right, Elwin, thanks for the update.